Hello my gorgeous babes out there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I am just a crazy lover of makeup, fashion and all that fun glittery stuff. So if those are things you're also into, please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I would love to have you here. But in today's video, I'm going to be playing with some of the products from the new Tinkerbell collection from Colourpop. I was so intrigued when I saw the like first sneak peeks of the collection. I was like, yes, that is something I could get on board with. So I picked up some of the items from the collection. I thought I would create a look with them and just give you guys my overall thoughts on all of the products. So if you are interested in seeing all of that, then keep on watching. cuties welcome back i hope you guys are all doing well i just got home from work and literally just wiped off all my work makeup put on some new makeup and i was like i really want to film with this collection i got it late yesterday and i didn't have time to film yesterday because i was working and i went to the gym and sometimes it's just so hard to have the time to sit down and film these videos because this channel is like my hobby like my passion and a place where i can be creative but i also have the demands of a full-time job and a full-time life <laughs> outside of this so i don't get to sit down and film as much as i like to but i made the time today i'm taking a break from the gym so I was like I'm gonna film because I want to play with this so I'm gonna give you guys all the information about the collection prices and I'll even show you the items that I did not pick up if you're curious and I'll have it all linked below so I picked up of course the eyeshadow palette in the collection it's called sprinkle a little magic do you guys see this packaging it's a very like antique cartoon kind of sketchbook like Tinkerbell, it's a very elevated Tinkerbell. It's not like that cartoony version. I don't know, it's just so classy, like the way they decided to make Tinkerbell on here. I love it. And this retails for $16. This is a nine pan palette. And you guys are just gonna love, if you like color, look at that big old mirror, has a little like fairy. Oh, that is just so adorable and this is, like very rare for ColourPop to do an all colorful palette unless it's one of their monochromatic palettes. Usually they always throw in some neutral so I was very surprised that they kept this pretty colorful and I feel like you could do a good amount of looks with this little nine pan palette. So there is four mattes in here and then five metallics. This one looks really foiled, even this one, and these kind of look like more traditional metallics but stunning, stunning gorgeous palette it's just very ethereal but i love that they have a deep shade so you can get like a more smoky look if you want so picked up that this is also how the back looks it has all the shade names little glitter on it oh, adorable and then i also picked up they had a super shock cheek trio and i picked up the trio you could also buy these products individually and this will be my first time ever trying the super shock cheeks from colourpop which is shocking because it's a very popular product from them but i'll show you guys the packaging like look at that absolutely stunning so it looks like it's two blushes and one highlighter and this trio went for let me get the price $24 so you could get the whole set for $24 or you could buy them individually for $9 and it looks like everything is still available on the website so I'll show you guys all the products so it has this one right here it looks like a coppery blush which is really pretty very unique maybe it could be a highlighter and a really deep skin tone but besides that, I think it's more of a blush more than anything. Then there's this one. Did I even tell you the name? This one was called Darling. And then they have this one called Magic Moon, which is like a pinky peachy blush. And these are that like cream to powder formula if you've never tried them. And then it has the Happy Thoughts. And I believe this is a highlighter. Well, it definitely is a highlighter for me looks like i digged into it a little bit but it has like a lavender pinky color to it so pretty it's so soft and creamy so those are the three cheek products i can't wait to put that on my face and then i also picked up one of the eyeliners there was two eyeliners in this collection there was a copper one i'll show a picture of that up in the corner but i got the green one in what is the shade called 
don't even know what the shade is called. This one is called Fly With Me Liner. The other one was called Lost Girl Liner. And I just thought this was more my vibe. It's a metallic, like deeper green. And this is what the shade looks like. Very pretty. Can't wait to use that as well. And then they had some other products in the collection. So they had some Super Shock Shadows and you could buy them individually for $7. The picture will be somewhere in the corner or you could buy them in a bundle for $20. And then they also had two lip stains in the collection that were, how much are the lip stains? They're $9 each or you could buy them in a set for $18. So that was everything that they released. I think they gave a good like variety of products like face products, eye products, so and lip products. So very excited about that. Okay, so I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys, pricing, all that info, swatches, you know, all that fun stuff. So I think it's a good time to now zoom you guys in so we can create a little look. So I think let's start with the cheek products. So I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna go for this one because I feel like it's so much more interesting. Oh, I love how this looks. Let me just get a brush. I'm sure you could also use your finger or use a sponge. Yeah, that is so creamy. Ooh, okay. So I'm just gonna pick it up with this like fluffy uh, brush that I usually like to use with cream products. I put on like super sheer makeup today. I was just not feeling a whole full coverage look. Ooh, it blends in really nicely. It has a nice little copper sheen, but it makes a really nice blush. And then I wanted to use the highlighter in the trio, the Happy Thoughts Highlighter. I love a nice little lavender highlight. So I think maybe a dense brush would be the best. God, I really need to clean my brushes. So I'm just gonna pick it up like that and just kind of dab it on. Oh, this is so pretty. Yes, it's like a lavender pinky highlight and it just stamps on really nicely. So I think I'm gonna put some of my nose, I'm gonna use my finger. I feel like that's just the best application. Just so damn creamy. Put some on my nose. So here, that looks really pretty. This is a really nice highlighter. Oh, I love the texture on it. So that was it for the cheap products that I want to use in my face. So I think it's now a good time to crack into the eyeshadow palette. And I have an idea in my mind what I want to use. I think I want to go more on the dramatic end because that's just how I am. And show you that this ethereal beautiful palette can also be quite smoky if you do it right. So I did prime my eyes with the Glam Light uh icing primer and i want to start off with one of these pinky shades let me get a brush nice big old fluffy brush and i want to use big magic looks like a like kind of mauvey shade i'm just gonna use the mirror in the palette i don't know where my handheld mirror went i'm just gonna swoop that through the crease it has good pigmentation to it. This is such a pretty mauve leaning more like on the lavender end. Okay, so I think you guys now know where I'm gonna go with this. I definitely want to use this deep teal in the palette. So I need to get this, this small little Kaleidos brush. So I'm gonna go into Awake and I'm gonna uh, focus that on the outer corner. I'm just gonna stamp that on. It's quite pigmented, it's going on nicely, and I just, I mean, I love that about ColourPop. Overall, they're pretty consistent with their formula. I've never really had any trouble with their shadows. I've always been happy with what I get from them. But yeah, I just wanna use this all through the outer corner, and I wanna take it in the crease, but like a little down. I wanna take it too high, but I wanna take it into the crease. Oh, 
okay like i said i wanted to make this look more dramatic so i'm going to take the fluffy brush go back into big magic the mauve shade and just blend out the edges here make sure you can still see it okay so i told you guys i wanted the look to be dramatic i love how these blend it together so beautiful so now i was thinking i want to use awake all on the bottom lash line just want to use that shade all on the bottom so i'm just gonna stamp into that and stamp that down there Just really stamp it in there. I don't want to swipe too much. So I'm going to take this little pencil brush and I'm going to go into Big Magic, the mauve shade. It's all on the crease. Just to blend the edge out. I don't want it to be like a harsh edge. Lower lash line is done. I want to use Annual Fairy. I think that is the one that's just calling to me that I want all over my lid. Like I just need that in my life so i think i want to lay down glitter primer like i always do so i'm going to do that off camera really quickly the glitter primer is laid down and i'm going to use the brush i use for the glitter primer and go into that small fairy shade it looks stunning it's like a gold but i feel like there's some green in it Ooh, this is really pretty it's stunning yeah there's a little green to this the green and gold I knew that was going to be stunning all over the lid oh this shade is so foiled and so stunning like yes 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 this is gorgeous so I'm going to take this little glam light brush I'm going to go back into a wake and make sure I didn't lose too much on the outer edge. Just kind of blend them together. Ooh. And I'm gonna use that also in the crease. So now for the fun little exciting step, I wanna use sleep as my inner corner highlight. I swatched it a little bit and it's super vibrant and I was like, that would make a really cool inner corner highlight. And I was like, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna go in there because in the pan it doesn't look that bright, but on the eyes, it has a lot of punch to it. If you can see, like, do you see that? It's super, super vibrant and it's very opaque. And I thought that'd make just the coolest little inner corner highlight. So I love that. I wanted to add a little bit of pixie dust, the shimmery light green. I did wet the brush and I just wanted to add like just right there in the center on top of that. Okay, that's it for the shadows. I want to put this in my waterline, the Fly With Me liner. That's part of the collection and see if that shows up pretty well. Um, let's see, sometimes these liners can be hit or miss, like sometimes they're like really good and then sometimes Colourpop's liners can be a dud. Is it even showing up? <laughs> I don't know if it's showing up. Let me, um, use this mirror. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about this liner. It's not very opaque, and I keep trying to layer it over and over, and I feel like I can't get a fully opaque uh, waterline. Like, do you see that? It's kind of sheer. So I don't know about this. I don't know, because when you when I swatch it, I feel like it's, it looks pretty opaque, but it's not going on my waterline that opaque. Sometimes uh, ColourPop's like, liners can be hit or miss, so I don't know. I'll have to play with that some more, but I mean, it's just not really showing up on the lower 
lash line, which kind of sucks because I was really excited about that product. So that's it for what I want to uh, do with the products. I'm going to go off camera, do a wing, put on some mascara, figure out something for my lips, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's the finished look, and I love how I was able to make this look so dramatic with this palette. So what I did off camera was I went in with the Nabla Serial Liner, created a wing. I used the Thrive Mascara, my favorite. And then on my lips, I'm using the ColourPop Just a Tint in Z Boys. And then I topped it off with this Dominique Cosmetic Gloss in Peach Tea, just to make it a little bit more sheeny and glossy. And that's how I completed this. So yes. So what I'm going to do now is zoom you guys out, give you my first impressions, thoughts on everything, and then wrap up this video. I am so happy with this collection from Colourpop. I'm so happy that I picked it up. I really like this look. I feel like it's just so dramatic and smoky but colorful and I'm just happy about that because it's rare that Colourpop comes out with palettes that have like deep colorful shades in it. I feel like it's very rare that they release a palette that doesn't have neutrals in it or a lot of mid-tones. So when I saw this little nine pan palette and I saw how versatile it was and like the different color combination, I was very intrigued. The packaging, everything about it is really nice. I think the formula is that consistent color pop formula. The mattes were blendable, pigmented, the metallics wore gorgeous like look at this stunning shade all over my lid and this green matte oh, it is so vibrant it's so pigmented like I'm it's shockingly pigmented next level on that matte I just love that so much it's one of my favorite shades in this palette and I feel like you could just do a lot with this you can go very light you can do like more mauve shades you could do an all teal look you could use the greens and do a green look or you could just mix it all up go light go dark so I'm very excited with this I think this was a stunning release from Colourpop and then the cheap trio gorgeous beautiful I really like the formula I don't know why I've waited so long to try their super shock cheeks but the blushes are beautiful especially this little copper one I think it's so unique the highlighter is gorgeous with that little lavender pink vibe I just think this is really nice I feel like the blushes could work for a range of skin tones I feel like this one might not be able to work on a deeper skin tone um, because it's on the lighter side but overall really think those cheap products were nice. The only product I'm like uh, about is the liner. It's not very opaque when you're putting it on your waterline. I kept trying to layer it over and over and I just couldn't get it to like fully have the color pay off. So I don't know about that. This is kind of a dud. Maybe it might work better on the lid, but in the waterline, it didn't do very well for me. Anyways, guys, that was my thoughts on this collection. Let me know in the comments below. Did you pick up anything? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I just love hearing from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you enjoyed this video and you like fashion, makeup, beauty, and all that fun stuff, please hit that subscribe button and join this little family we have here. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I have all the products linked. I'll have other videos of mine that you might be interested in. I'll also link the makeup that I'm wearing on my face in case you're interested and my contact information. I am also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty. If you want to check me out over there, I would really, really love that. But I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for being here, for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And I just hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world and just sending you a love and light. But until next time, bye guys.